Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And this is the first episode to my new series called Mirror Mirror, which is all about relationships because I feel like this is just such an important part of our life. It's literally the entirety of our life. Like it consumes us is relationships connection friendships family and all of that kind of stuff so i wanted to create a new series that just focuses on relationships and how to create incredible amazing relationships and obviously i'm still learning that because you know like i don't have this all figured out and we still get tested in certain scenarios and stuff so i haven't like perfected this in any way but i just wanted to share my perspective and the things that I uncover as I go because I do get a lot of questions and a lot of DMs on my Instagram asking me for advice with guys and all of this kind of stuff so I figured as this is like my main focus in my own life of things where I constantly get triggered and stuff and have to really uncover myself through the connections that I'm having because everyone is our mirror so as that happens to me a lot I feel like this is something that I'm just really passionate about and a good series to create that hopefully will help you if you're dealing with any kind of situation and you want a little bit of advice or just somebody that gets it that's also been there then hopefully this series will really resonate with you and for this first episode I got a DM as I said, I do get a lot of DMs asking for advice and stuff and one of you lovely people DMed me on Instagram and asked me about to talk about relationships and how to tell whether you like somebody and like what that kind of feeling is, how to tell whether they're the right person for you and all of that kind of stuff to do with being unsure on somebody and I have definitely experienced that feeling so many times so I feel like this is a good topic to start off with because I feel like a lot of us go through that where we're not really sure about whether somebody is right for us or not so how to tell whether somebody is right for you and whether you actually want to be with them for me personally I feel like you'll be able to tell by how you feel but oftentimes we're not aware of how we feel because we're kind of disconnected from that or we're taught how to like push our emotions to the side and not acknowledge them and not process them so sometimes it can be difficult to even tune into that intuition and be able to tell whether what you're feeling is actually you feeling it or whether it's like a programmed response and a, a trauma mechanism you know so I think how to tell is really like you have to pay attention okay and I feel like this is the answer to everything that I always talk about is like self-awareness you have to pay attention so when you're around the person how do you feel how does your body react do you feel closed in do you feel scared do you feel anxious or do you feel open and expansive and like excited you know and oftentimes some connections even when they they make you feel expansive you can still find yourself anxious and uneasy and stuff like that so I do think it's really just key to pay attention to yourself and uncover yourself and what you want and what you need and what you like and be able to remove the idealism filter where we want to see everyone's potential and we want to see them for like this incredible thing and actually look at who they are what they bring to the table how they behave the things that they say how they treat you and really just looking at all of these things and then whether or not it aligns with you and how you feel you know because I really feel like when it's the right person it kind of it like makes you feel alive, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel excited, like you really want to see them, you want to be around them all the time, you know, and it doesn't even mean that you could have to do a certain thing, you just like to, to be around them and you just enjoy their company, so I don't know, I do think we put too much um, pressure on it when it comes to like trying to find the one and figure out whether they're the right person or not I do think we put so much pressure on it where we either force it and really want them to be the one or where we kind of go the opposite way and we're just too scared and we don't pursue it 
kind of thing. So I think it's just key to pay attention to how you feel when you're around them. And like, do you even like them as a person? Because relationships at the end of the day, whether you're whether it's a romantic partner or whether it's a family member or whether it's a friend, you want somebody that you vibe with. You want somebody that you're on the same page as, you know? Like, do you have the same interests? Do you like doing the same things? Do they respect you? Are they kind? Are they polite? You know, like all of these just normal, obvious, simple things that a lot of the time we kind of brush past and don't look at because we are so like excited and so desperate and so wanting to find the right person and to be loved that we just ignore all of these foundational things that matter that you need to have in place so ask yourself like and even ask yourself when you're in their company when you're near them like what kind of things do they do what are they interested in what are you interested in what are you looking for what are they looking for and then you can look at the two and whether they're in alignment or not and then you can figure out whether that is the right person for you in this moment because we can't attach to the future because we don't know what's going to happen in the future we don't know whether our own wants and needs will change and whether theirs will change so you have to look at the present moment is who they are and what they bring to the table right now is that in alignment with who I am and what I bring to the table right now in this moment and look at that and whether it's something that you want to pursue because I feel like when it comes to friends and stuff you know a lot easier because you'll know whether you have things in common because you're not being intimate or anything like that so the people that you keep around yourself in friendships is based on the, the energy between you like your interests and what you like to do and stuff that's kind of an obvious thing that keeps you connected but when it becomes a romantic connection I feel like sometimes we just forget about that friendship thing like you need a friendship it's about having the same beliefs the same morals the same interests the same you know, like the same foundational things. And obviously you're going to have differences. You're not going to be exactly the same because they're not a clone of you. They're their own person. So you're obviously going to have differences. But it's just the foundational things of like your belief system and your morals and all of those kind of things. Like, do you both want kids? Do you both want to live in the same place? Those kind of things. Like, are you on the same page with them? And then when you get past those foundational things then it's like okay how do they treat me um how do I feel when I'm around them and all of that kind of stuff of like I don't know I think it takes a lot of analyzing <laughs> and this sounds very like logical and thinking but it's also about how you feel it's not just logical it's both you need to look at both so logically does it make sense and also emotionally and how your body reacts and internally does it feel good does it make you feel excited do you feel free do you feel like you can be yourself around them or do you feel judged you know it's these kind of questions that you have to ask yourself because at the end of the day I can sit here and list all of these millions of things but only you will know whether they're right for you or not because I'm not you I'm not around the two of you I'm not in the same space you know so I can't even if I was in the same space I can't tell you for you because I, I'm not in your body, like how does your body react? Only you know that, you know? And oftentimes I feel like we know when somebody's right or wrong for us, we just don't want to admit it to ourselves. So then we seek advice from other people to tell us because we're scared to actually admit it to ourselves. But really, we know the answer, you know? So I think you just have to have an honest conversation with yourself and maybe even an honest conversation with them and see if you're on the same page and see how it feels because really it's all about communication as well like that's a key a huge key to relationships so yeah I think you just need to trust yourself trust how you feel and trust the signs of whether you're on the same page and whether you want the same things and also be open to the fact that things can change and we don't own people we can't control people so you enjoy the moments for what they are 
and if they change in the future then you'll cross that bridge when you come to it you know it's about enjoying the present moment with the person and just see where it leads so i hope this video was helpful and don't worry i am going to make so many more videos this is just the first one there's going to be a lot of videos all about relationships and there will be a new video on relationships specifically every week but i am uploading three videos a week one about spirituality and metaphysics, one about relationships, and one about business and money and career and all of that kind of stuff, like branding and marketing and stuff. So yeah, we're uploading consistently now. So I'm really excited for this series. And I hope this was like a good introduction to relationships and that kind of thing. And I hope it helped you as well to kind of like it's just about self-awareness so I know I'm gonna keep reiterating that same goddamn thing and it's frustrating because believe me I have to do this for myself too and no it is not easy but the more you tune into yourself the easier it will become to know when something is right for you or not not just in relationships but in anything like opportunities that come up careers like even family members you know the more you practice it it's like a muscle you have to train yourself the more you practice getting in tune with how you feel and how you think the easier it will be you know so yes i will see you in next week's video don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music my social media my phone number because you can text me anytime that you like i just want to connect with you guys and it's literally building relationships and friendships and connections you know that's what this life is so all of my stuff will be in the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye oh, yeah, yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you might. I'm the thing you like, in my range all white. Oh, yeah, I think you might. I'm the thing you like, in my range all white.